at his Senate confirmation hearing almost two years ago. Then nominee to be the U.S. ambassador to Russia, John Huntsman, accepted the tough job with open eyes. I'm under no illusion that serving as the U.S. ambassador to the Russian Federation will be easy or simple. Our relationship with Russia is among the most consequential and complex foreign policy challenges we face. Huntsman served in Moscow at a time when the U.S. intelligence community said Russia systematically interfered in the 2016 U.S. presidential elections. And the special counsel investigated ties between Moscow and then-candidate Donald Trump's campaign. It was a frustrating time to be in Russia. Mark Simakovsky told VOA. And so in many ways, U.S.-Russian relations are hemmed in by the uh, political radioactivity of the issue here in Washington and the mostly bipartisan consensus in Congress that we need to limit engagement and limit our relations with Moscow because of its nefarious activity. In his resignation letter, Huntsman had some advice for his successor, saying, going forward, we must continue to hold Russia accountable when its behavior threatens us or our allies. Huntsman has served his country as an ambassador to Russia, China, and Singapore under Democratic and Republican administrations and as the governor of his home state of Utah. Some reports say he may be considering another run for governor there. His departure comes at a time of a violent crackdown on anti-Kremlin protests, led by supporters of opposition party candidates barred from running for Moscow's city council. Russian police have detained more than 1,000 people in recent Saturday protests, and images of police beating citizens lying on the ground have captured global attention. In his resignation letter, Huntsman called on Russia to respect the rule of law and human rights. Cindy Sane, VOA News, the State Department.